Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, a while back I picked up a new tool for the shop. It's a little Diacro number 1A uh, bending tool. It's a, for bending metal to different diameters and so forth. Uh, and I basically, when I got it, I just got the basic set here. It's got the center pin in the middle. I got a couple of clamping uh, cams, uh, some stops and so forth. But uh, I didn't have any dies for this to do any particular uh, diameter bends. And I'm actually got a little job I'm needing to do. And I'm needing to bend some metal in two different radiuses or two different diameters. So one arm is going to be an inch and a half diameter, one arm is going to be a two inch diameter. Now I've done some looking and so forth and uh, actually on the Diacro website they have some details on these dies and they have a lot of different kinds of dies for a lot of different types of bending. I'm going to be bending some solid metal, actually it's going to be some round material, a uh, quarter inch diameter to these, dia to these uh, di diameters that I want to make. And uh, I've downloaded a little document off their website, it actually has the specifications in there on how to make one. So we're going to go over to the lathe here and make it. Before we do that there, let me show you the diagram that I downloaded and uh, kind of come up with a game plan on how we're going to do this. So this is right out of uh, the little Diacro manual on, on bending that's on their website and basically it goes over the basics on doing all kinds of bending with this tool and the different types of things you can do. And this is just probably the most basic type of bending that it'll do, which is just making a circle or a radius, uh, partial circle, whatever. And the dies for doing this are also extremely easy. It's just basically a piece of round material that fits over the, the center pin. Uh, there's a locking pin that you put in there and you go to town bending your different radiuses. So, uh, I, you know, I could call up Diacro, I'm sure, and order a set of these uh, dies, but I need them right now. <laughs> Don't have time to wait. And this is a fairly quick and easy job to do uh, on, between the lathe and the mill machine. So we're gonna, we're just gonna make some. Now, ideally, you probably would need to make this out of some type of metal that you could at least heat treat and get to a certain hardness. I've just got a piece of mystery metal. I don't even know what grade it is. So we're not gonna worry about doing any hardening on this. Uh, this is just going to be for a couple of quick bends. It's not something I'm going to be using over and over and over again. At some point in time, what I probably need to do is just make a set of these and uh, actually uh, get them, or I've, I've got a heat treating oven. I can heat, heat treat them here myself. But uh, for right now, just quick and dirty, we're going to make those two diameters. Now, one thing it does note in here is that you probably need to make these a little bit undersized from the diameter you're going to bend because there will be some spring back. Um, and they really don't give you any uh, anything really to determine what that spring back is going to be. Honestly, for what I'm doing, the, the precision of that diameter is not super critical. Uh, I've got a pretty big uh, leeway in what it has to be. So I'm not going to worry about spring back. We're just going to make these to the nominal size. And if I get a little bit of spring back and the diameter is a little bit larger than uh, what I need, it's going to be fine for what I'm doing. So uh, I, again, we're just not going to worry about that. Here's the diagram. You know, I got a 1A bender. So the, the thickness of these need to be three quarters of an inch thick. Of course, the diameter is whatever diameter you need. That center hole on mine is a half inch, and then that locking pin F here is 5 sixteenths, and the distance between the center of those two holes is 9 sixteenths of an inch. So there's all my dimensions that I can pretty much just go make this. So let's go over to the lathe and uh, whip a couple of these things out. So again, guys, just some mystery metal here. I went over to my scrap pile and just found whatever I had laying around. So I think what I'm going to do is just come in here first and just kind of clean me up a surface to work off of. I only need to peel back about an inch and a half, two inches. That's plenty. Let me uh, grab some calipers and just get a quick measurement on that. So the uh, largest one I need to make is two inches in diameter. and We're already starting out at over two and a half. So I got a little bit of material to cut off of this. Let me, uh, let me get it kind of down to size and we'll, uh, we'll be back.
it whittled down here and measuring with the calipers, we're about 60 thousandths over two inches. So uh, we'll make two more passes. I've been making 30, 000, uh, 50 thousandths cuts, but we'll uh, do thir two thirties, 10, 20, 30. Next one's gonna be probably just a little bit over 30, but we'll get a exact measurement here in a second. All right, so according to the calipers, we got 42,000 to come off of it. I'm just gonna dial that in. 10, 20, 30, 41, two right there. about two thou under. That's gonna be just fine. Let me uh, face the end here. for that center pin. We'll start out with just a center drill to spot the center there. That's all I need, just a little dimple to get started on. Start out with a uh, 3 8 inch hole. We're going to half inch. We'll just go ahead and get a hole started and then enlarge it. inch drill. Take it to size. Put a little bit of a chamfer on this uh, outside edge there. Now we're going to part it off and this needs to be three quarters of an inch. So that's good right there. Need to lower this down, get it uh, on center. Use my little edge technology center finding tool there. And that should do it. And I'll just feed this in by hand. Close, I'm just going to put a tool here in the center to catch that on. There we go. All right, with the first one done, we now need to go down to inch and a half diameter on the second piece here. Work our way down through that one. Take it a little bit undersized again. Just a little, little light pass here. And that should be good. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're about two thou under, which is just like the other one. All right, uh, I think my hole needs to go just a little bit deeper. We've already got it started, so we'll just come in here and take her on down a little bit more. That should be deep enough. 
go ahead and chamfer this outside edge again. Planning. It's three quarters right there. Harder off with the parting tool just like before. Over on the mill machine now, I've got my die in the mill, and uh, what I want to do is get centered up on this hole. So this is a half inch hole. This is a piece of half inch drill rod, and I've already come over here and I've got it basically just lined up perfectly on that hole. So now I can just zero out my digital readout. Uh, I want to leave this axis zero. I want to move over 9 16 of an inch. Uh, let's see what 9 16 comes out to. So that's 0.5625. So I can just dial that in right here on my digital readout. Two, three, four, five, six. Right there. So um, that should be nine sixteenths over. I'm now going to swap this out, put in a five sixteenths inch drill bit. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'm going to spot that hole first. So I'm just going to put a uh, center drill in here. Come down and just uh, give me a little dimple to start on. And now I'll put my drill bit in. And we'll drill that hole through. So here we go back over at the diacra. The die drops right on. Now that pin that I had is just a little bit too tight. I can't get them to line up. I need to get an oversized reamer, I think. But for right now, I'm just gonna put a bolt down in there and that's holding it in place. And I think we got a die that we can uh, bend around. So um, I need to get some uh, my metal over here, let's see. Now, one thing I'll point out is that uh, I made a bushing for the half inch, but the problem I've got is that the locking pin is just right here on the edge. So there's a couple things I can do. And I think what I'm gonna do right now is just take the easy way out and just not put a locking pin in there, which means that this bearing might roll as I'm going around, but it's really not gonna matter for what I'm doing. Uh, ideally for this size uh, pin, what I would do is I would just turn it and have the stem on there so that it, the stem would just go down in this hole. But for now guys, I think we're just gonna go with it like it is and uh, let that roll. So let me get some metal over here and uh, do a couple of bends and see what we can come up with on this. Let's try this out. I've got the inch and a half radius uh, die in here and this is just some quarter inch round stock um, I got my pin. What I want to do is you, you want to leave some room above that. I'll probably have to cut this off. I'm just going to bend a, a half circle, not a, not a quarter or, or complete. We're just going to make a U out of this. So let's just bend it on around. Move my camera just a little bit. And we want to over bend it just a tad. It's going to spring back and that actually looks good. So let me cut this one off. We'll uh, put the two inch die in there and try that one next. 
I got my two inch die in here now. Same process as before. I'm just gonna bend this on around. And there we go. Another U bent. And there we go, I've got them cut off now. Those are my two little uh, hooks I was looking to make. And we got them done, got a set of dies here that I'll keep with the machine now. And if I need that size radius again, presto, we've got them made next time. Well, there you go, a quick little project here in the shop, making some custom dies for my Diacro. And uh, everything worked out great. Got our bins done and I uh, got some tooling that I can save uh, and use later on with this machine as I need it for future projects. Really excited to have this uh, little bending tool in the shop. It's something I've been needing for a while and just kind of always may do without, but when I saw this one come up recently in a, for sale, I jumped on it and already putting it to use. So there you go. That's gonna be a wrap, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Leave comments if you like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you on the next video.